wanna do the two step, then cowboy boogie. Grab a sweet heart and spin out. Okay, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Um, I've been kind of holding this back for a while. Um, I got another project. It's for the red truck. Um, it's for the it's it's, it's new part. Um, it's not a big block. Um, I'm gonna be keeping the big block. It's just because that 402, they had a certain year through 72 to 74 of when they made the motors of it vapor locking. You can do whatever you want to it. It's still gonna vapor lock because of all the heat they build up. So I went out and bought a brand new, brand new rebuilt uh, 350. It's been bored 60 over. I know that might scare some of you guys, but it's been bored out 60 over. It's got a mild, slightly cam. He gave me all the specs and stuff on it. Um, it's got some other stuff, but I'm just gonna turn the camera around, show you guys, and see what you guys think. And I'm gonna re-gasket the whole motor, maybe repaint it, I don't know. But it's it still needs a few parts here and there, so if you guys have any parts, please let me know. Uh, message me on Instagram, and we can maybe work out a deal. So here we go. All right, so here it is. It's a mild 350 cammed. Um, it's got a high-rise Edelbrock intake on it already. It's got Edelbrock chrome valve covers. It's got some bling bling on it. Um, he said it's gonna need, you know, regasketed because he already had the heads off. He uh, cleaned off the pistons, uh, cleaned out the heads, so those are all nice and clean. But it does have a few goodies in it that turned me on to this motor. It's got the deep oil pan. It takes seven quarts. So, yeah, everything is pretty clean in it. I have to reset the valve lash and everything just because he had the heads off, as I said. But, yeah, I'm just going to go through tonight and just kind of price a few things for it. And, yeah because it did come with a lot of newer stuff. Like, he lost the intake bolt, so he went out and bought brand new ones for me. Um, valve cover studs, so that's, that's a good thing. And these are the oil pan bolts. So I'm gonna put this thing on an engine stand, and I got some other stuff. Distributor, power steering pump, uh, fuel pump, distributor cap, the wires. So I'm gonna get some new stuff, but some of the stuff I can reuse, like the power steering pump. Um, I'm gonna get a new fuel pump. Um, I'm thinking about using the distributor out of my other motor and just use all the caps and wires out of that and plugs. But this motor does have a few goodies in it, other than the cam. It's got some roller rockers in it. Um, I can't remember, he said it made 10 to one compression. Um, the heads are shaved. Oh, what do you say? I can't remember. I'll put numbers up right here. But yeah, so it's it's been it's got some few parts on it. You know, it's not really too big of a deal. It has roller rockers. I don't really care too much. Um, it's bored over sixty, so that makes it a oh a three fifty. It's it's still a three fifty. I don't do all that, you know, if you bore it over, it's a 396 or a 353, this and that, and it's, you bored it out 10 thousands, that's not even a power gain, that's just thousands, so, I don't really do all that, so it's still a 350 to me, but, for what I paid for it, it's quite expensive, but, so, yeah, so I got some stuff to do. So I just want to give you guys this little update on what I got. So look out for uh, another, no, just a motor swap in the uh, red truck, in the 68. I think we'll do that when we lower it at the same time. So look out for some 68 videos. So thank you guys so much for watching.